Right, this is everything you get in the uh, the kit that I bought on eBay. This is the people I bought it off. I'm not advertising for them, but it was a fair price. So, what you get in the kit is you get a meter of your earth cable. I went with a five meter kit, so I've got five meters of the 16 mil square. 110 amp main cable you've got 200 amp inline fuses you've got your connected ends for the battery various cable ties bit of heat shrink some double sided uh, brackets you can put a screw in them as well and the main brains of the system what that does is once you uh, switch your van on or your car and you start charging through the alternator and the, the voltage goes above 13.7 it'll start to charge your second battery and then once you knock the engine off and your battery drops below 12 I think it's 12.8 it stops taking any power so you can't run your car battery flat yeah. also comes with a fitting guide that basically it's as simple as from your main car battery you're going to run a piece of live wire to one of the fuses then to the brains the box from there you're going to run another inline fuse straight to your auxiliary battery and then earth off the other battery so we start the fit we go and have a look right so we're out of the van now we're in the engine bay We've mapped out generally where we're going to take the wire. Now this is going to be different for every van. Um, we're only dealing with a T4. If you want to follow where we are taking it, that's up to you. If not, you can run your own route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it to the fuse, cut it, take it inside and we'll put the terminals on. Come down and have a look. So I haven't got my pollen filter on yet. I've taken that off. So we've got to take our live to live. So I'm going to run it at the back of the battery. Coming down with a little bit of play. And then I'm going to have my first fuse just about by here. Because I'm going to be putting my actual relay. I'm going to mount him in the engine bay by there. So that the wire coming out of it comes down and straight in with this bundle through the bulkhead so I'm just measuring out my first fuse is going to be start of the fuse is going to be there so I'll cut that now some nice strong cutters <coughs> like that so that'll be our first piece to make up we know we want a battery terminal on there and a fuse terminal on there then we've got to make up another short bit then from the fuse up to the actual relay but we won't know until I get this piece in so right I just got it uh, mocked up on the bench now we're going to be using a power crimp obviously my cable cutters and a Stanley knife to strip back if you haven't got a power crimper then you can use the normal pliers or you can use a screwdriver just to crimp the cable into the actual connector so if we pretend that this end is the battery we've got to put the battery terminal on this end then we come into our first fuse box our first fuse holder so we need a fuse end then on the cable going up we need another connector for the other end of the fuse then this end is going to connect into the main controller box so I can fit that that and that what we've got to do now is we've got to strip this wire back so it just sits in there so I'm going to strip him back to about by there I use a Stanley knife be very very careful I've got you don't cut yourself and get adult supervision if you need to let's keep gently rolling him round till you can peel the end away like so 
So there then, if you twist away, you'll see the braid will go together. All of that then has got to go in there. And then you could either put solder down in and solder it in. Or you can do like I'm going to do, which is crimp the cable on. Okay. So when we get ready to crimp, I'll let you have a look. Right, now I've got the wire twisted in. I'm going to use the crimp. I'm going to use the largest terminal. Like I said, this is a power crimp, it ratchets. So I'm going to go top to bottom with it. Now I doubt if this is going to crimp all the way. <coughs> we did. Right. Let's go that in there nice and secure. So I'm going to get some heat shrink now. We're going to put some heat shrink over that just to seal it in. Alright, so what we're going to do is a bit of heat shrink. Put him over right to the end. Get yourself a lighter. And just gently heat him. Don't go mad. It literally says on the tin, it'll shrink up. The light is running out. Then I will just help. Watch because he's going to be hot. So that's him. He's on there. He's done. So we'll do the same to the other ends now. And then we'll go back out to the van. Right, so we've got our battery end come round. We've got our first end of the fuse, which spade on. And then we got our second end of the fuse. It's going to go on. The fuse itself. And then the nuts to hold it on. We'll tighten those down and then pop the cover back on. That's the first section done. So we'll go back out to the van then and carry on. Right, back in the van. I've run the live around, but I've not touched it or connected to the battery. Stay away from that at the moment. This is going to be our first fuse. It's going to go yay. And then our box is going to go tucked up there. So I need a length now from there up and then I'm going to trim this to the length we need back in put two spades on right so we got our lead from the battery to our first fuse we need the rear of the charging unit now this black lead is earth so screw that onto the body of the van somewhere so we need two more terminals now one off the fused end one off this end this then is the lead that's going to run inside and through the battery to the back and we need to fit a second fuse then before the end of this lead so we'll do these two ends go in the van and we'll have a look right on the back of your charging unit you'll have two terminals now they not all of them will have a red dot, but generally the ones with the dot is what comes from the main battery. You can read in here, it says positive, sec battery, and then second battery. This is your auxiliary battery, your leisure battery. So that this one with the dot is what we're going to connect our first piece of wire up from the battery to that one. And then the remaining wire from that to the second battery. Right, so there we've got it wired up now. This is the lead that's going to go to the van battery. This is the lead that's going to the second battery in the back. Pay casing on the back. We've got our earth lead with an eye lot on, ready to screw to the van body. So everything now is back out to the van. Right, so we've got to fit them in. We've got box bolted in. Fuse box screwed in place. And then our power lead runs behind. It's going to come up at the battery. 
them connected him obviously leave him to last we've got to screw our earth to the body I'm going to cut a little bit of the insulation away and then our main cable which is hanging out at the moment I've got him going in through where there's a bunch of cables that comes out we've taken the double seats out and he comes out just there so I'm going to bring him in behind the black rubber matting down underneath passenger step up and as I got a half bulkhead so I'm going to run him along the edge of the bulkhead and then through to the back so we'll get that done and then we'll call back in with you right sorry about the noise but this is a, a final run through now so we've got earth sorry live is just about to be connected to the battery we've got our fuse split relay we're running through the bulkhead it's hidden now underneath the matting underneath the step i've took the both seats out just to make it easy and then i've put it at the back of the bulkhead on clips comes out back of the bulkhead this is only temporary at the moment until i get cupboards fitted down but i've got it the second fuse then before it goes on to the positive and the earth i've got from the battery you can just see it there going bolted into the bodywork so we're going to wire him up now put the tester on there and have a look at him see if he's charging right at the moment the battery pleasure battery in the back is fully charged as you can see it's 12.3 volts so Logan's in the front now, he's got the ignition in neutral. He's going to start the van and then we should see that voltage lift. So turn him on, wait for the heat of light to go out. Right, turn him over. Should now go out and see. There you are, she's jumped already. 13.6, 13.8. So we'll go out and check the light on the actual uh, brains. There you are, you can see the light is lit. There is no pushing charge through the back in the back. We're going to have another double check. So you are, it's pushing 14 volts out. So it's pushing 14 volts out now. So Logan's going to knock the engine off now. That should drop back down a little bit. Obviously the battery now just had a little bit of a boost. And then when that battery drops back down to below, I think it's 12.8, I have to check the booklet. The split charger switches off. So that then will knock off once the battery, the main battery, goes back down to its regular 12, 12 and a half, 12 12.8. So that shows the split charging system is working. As I said, this is only temporary in the back at the moment because we're going to be putting units in there. But you can see where I've run it. It's safe, it's out of the way, it's behind the chairs. We're not going to use behind them for anything. We'll probably paint or cover the bulkhead at some point and carpet it. But I hope you found this helpful. I hope this uh, helps. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll show you then once we get the cupboards in, I'll go back over. The layout of the battery and everything so thank you very much for watching we'll see you on the next one say bye logan bye cup of tea cup of tea cup of tea cup of tea